Well, my name is Blake Jenner, and I play the role of Christian Nubalet. He's a soldier. He's a he's a great fighter, swordsman. Um, you know, was was brought up to be to be strong and have courage, be strong as steel, not be afraid. But the only thing, the only chink in this guy's armor, is that he cannot talk to the ladies. He does not know how to express himself. It's funny when you meet him because he, at first you meet like this version of himself that he takes pride in, and then when there's like a thought of love on his mind or the possibility of speaking to a woman that he likes, he, he just kind of crumbles. He doesn't know what to say. So that's, that's where Cyrano comes in. He kind of helps him, you know, being, become this like superhero version of himself through these letters. You know, it's a, it's a tale of, of unrequited love focused on this, this poet and, and this, this soldier named Cyrano. And the only way that he finds confidence in, in, in himself to speak to the one that he loves is to do it through um, through the heart of someone else, and but you know, masking his words as the other person's thoughts and feelings. Yeah, you know, I was with it at good speed last year, and now we're doing it with new, with the new group. Um, I just want to. I, I couldn't wait to get my hands on a comedy. I grew up doing improv and practicing impressions in the mirror and making my parents think I'm crazy because I was just like talking to myself and using all these voices. So I mean, everything I've done up to this point is, is pretty fairly dramatic. And it, it, I really loved the idea of doing a romance and getting to, to juggle some comedy with someone as talented as Peter, obviously, and the whole, the whole cast in general. Like it, it really, it, it lends itself to the funny in a, lot of, in a lot of moments in the play. So that's what really attracted me to it. And also I just wanted to do theater. Since I left high school, I was always like, oh, I'm just going to stick to TV and film. And it kind of was, I was afraid of it. And then I kind of conquered that fear in, in Connecticut over at Goodspeed. And now, then I was just hooked. I was like, I, I couldn't wait to do it again. It's, it's kind of been like a little, like a fun boot camp. You know, one day, you know, they'll, they'll divvy us up. Some people go to, go to music with uh, Mary Mitchell and we're, we're practicing our songs. Other people go with the Coopermans to to practice, you know, to choreograph all these fights and these dances, and then we'll be doing scene work. So it's kind of, it's cool that we're kind of dipping our toes into each avenue of this whole thing. The music works itself into the show in in a very non-jarring way. You know, you don't, you don't just break out in the dance or anything. This is kind of like a non-musical musical. It's just singing how you feel as though you were just talking. And when I'm singing or when anybody else is singing, it kind of seems like you're still in the same scene and in, in, in the same conversation and nothing's changed. And I think that's something that was really important to Erica. So that's kind of different. There's no, there's no huge dance numbers or anything like that. It's very, it, it, it's very in the, of the moment. It's very, it, it, it's kind of like you're still at the same rate of someone's heartbeat the entire time. And I really love the cast. I really love all the creatives. I think Erica is an incredible director that you can talk to about anything. You know, she, she sets a, a really warm, sets up a really warm environment for all the artists involved. It's a tale of humor. It's a tale of heartbreak. It's a tale of regret, but also longing. And I think that's something that everybody can find a bit of, bit of themselves in.